In this video lesson, we will use the skill you learned on evaluating and expanding logarithmic expressions using the properties and laws of logarithms. So let's start. Example 1. Solve the logarithmic equation logarithm of 37 to the base 2 equals logarithm of the binomial 3x minus 8 to the base 2. So this is the given logarithmic equation. Since the left-hand side and the right-hand side are both logarithm to the base 2, then that means that the, that the two arguments or anti-logarithms are also equal. So we may equate them. This equation means that 37 is equal to 3x minus 8. Now since this is reduced to a linear equation, then we may use now the properties of equality. By APE, we may add a positive 8 to both sides. And we will get 37 plus 8 equals 3x. 37 plus 8 is 45. So we have 45 equals 3x. By MPE, we divide both sides by 3 for us to get the value of x or multiply both sides by 1 third. And we will get 45 divided by 3 is 15 equals x. By reflexive property, we read from left to right, so we may read, uh, write this as x equals 15. The value of this x is 15. Again, going back, this is the given. In solving a logarithmic equation, if both sides of the equation are both logarithms to the same base, then that means that the arguments or anti-logarithms are equal. You may equate them. Example 2. Find x in logarithm of x plus 2 to the base 3 plus 2 times logarithm of 3 to the base 3 minus logarithm of the binomial x minus 1 to the base 3 equals 3. Take note that our goal in solving a logarithmic expression or equation is to express the equation, the whole equation, in terms of a single logarithm. Actually, we may do that to example 1. And in the end, we'll still arrive at the same answer. So let us apply that to example 2. Again, this is the equation. Uh, this equation involves three logarithms. So to express this in terms of a single logarithm, we will be needing the application of the laws of logarithms, which we just have learned. Now, before we, we use the laws of logarithms, we have to examine the basis of the logarithms. Uh, they must all be the same or equal. Okay, since all bases here are 3, then we may apply the loss of logarithm. Okay, first, notice the second logarithm. There is another factor aside from the logarithm itself. So we will use the power law on this part. That is, this factor 2 will become the exponent of this 3. Okay, what we mean by saying that is this. So all other parts of the equation are retained except for the second logarithm. The 2 factor or the factor 2 becomes the exponent of 3. So that becomes logarithm of 3 squared to the base 3. And we know that we know that 3 squared is 9. So this becomes logarithm of 9 to the base 3. Notice that each logarithm is simplified already. So we are now ready to use the, par the product law and the quotient law. For this part, since we have here addition, we'll be using the product law. For this part, since we have subtraction, by the definition of the quotient law, we'll use that quotient law. So what we mean is this equation. Logarithm of x plus 2 times 9 over x minus 1 to the base 3 equals 3. This part comes from applying the product law for these two logarithms, x plus 2 times 9. And this part, divided by or over x minus 1, comes uh, from application of the quotient law. So you may review that uh, those laws uh, for you to successfully apply them in simplifying logarithms. And then the base comes from the common base of the three logarithms, which is 3. 
and this part comes from the given from the right hand side of the equation equals 3 okay notice that we have already expressed uh, the equation in terms of a single log in 10 so for us to solve this uh, we may translate it into an expression without the logarithm we know that this is also the same as 3 cubed equals this whole fraction or by reflexive property this may come first what I mean is this equation so this whole fraction x plus 2 times 9 over x minus 1 is equal to 3 cubed okay next we know that 3 cubed is 27 and for uh, for us to simplify this part we know that we will use the distributive property that is 9 times x and 9 times 2 so we have 9x plus 18 is still over x minus 1 and 3 cubed is 27 so we have here equals 27 next for us to solve for x or since we have here a fraction then we may use mpe let us multiply both sides by x minus 1 so imagine multiplying this part by x minus 1 what will remain is 9x plus 18 because uh, they will be cancelled out. For the right-hand side, we have 27. Imagine multiplying this by x minus 1. That x minus 1, of course, looks like this because it's also x minus 1. So that will be 27 times x and 27 times negative 1. 27 times x, 27 times negative 1. That is 27x minus 27. You may write that if you will be confused. And then, you'll arrive at this equation. Again, x minus 1 will be cancelled when you multiply the whole fraction by x minus 1. That's why we have 9x plus 18 only. The numerator equals, again, we multiply 27 by x minus 1. That's 27x minus 27. Now, by using APE, we will combine uh, like terms. We'll combine all x's to the left side and all uh numbers or constants to the right side uh, excess to the left side so let's apply ape we'll subtract or add negative 27x to both sides and also add negative 18 to both sides and this is what we will get 9x minus 27x equals negative 27 minus 18 next let's combine this 9x minus 27x is negative 18x equals negative 27 minus 18 is negative 45. Then let's apply MPE by dividing both sides by negative 18 or that is the same as multiplying both sides by negative 1 over 18. So you'll get x equals 5 over 2. 5 over 2 comes again comes from negative 45 divided by negative 18. Negative divided by negative is positive. 45 over 18, when reduced to lowest terms, is 5 over 2. So this is the value of x. Example 3. Solve logarithm of 11 cubed to the base 11 plus 3 times logarithm of 1 to the base 5 equals 4 minus logarithm of the binomial x plus c to the base 11. So, just like what we did in example 2, we will look first uh, at the basis of the logarithms. If they are all equal, then we may use the loss of logarithm. For these two logarithms, we may use the loss, but for this part, will not be able to combine them with the other logarithms using the loss of logarithms. So, aside from the loss of logarithms, we know some properties. If they will be applicable, then let us apply them. So again, this is the given. And we have a property which tells us that if these two are equal, then the answer to the logarithm or the value of the logarithm is the exponent. So that means this is equal to 3. Next, we also have a logarithm which tells us that logarithm of 1 to any base is always equal to 0. So we have this equation. The value of this is 3 
plus 3 times the value of this whole logarithm is 0. So 3 times 0 equals the right-hand side. 4 minus logarithm of x plus 6 to the base 11. Next, 3 times 0, of course, is 0. And 3 plus 0, of course, is 3. Next, by APE, we may add positive logarithm of x plus 6 to the base 11 to both sides. Okay, let's add it also to the right-hand side, logarithm of x plus 6 to the base 11. So, uh, logarithm plus 3 is uh, this, or uh, together with this, we may also add negative 3 to both sides to combine this constant to the other constant on the, on the right-hand side. Okay, so, add negative 3. Okay, let's review that again. Uh, by, okay, what did we do? We add positive logarithm to both sides. So we have in both sides, we have this and this logarithm. We also add at the same time, negative 3 to both sides. So we have negative 3 here and negative 3 on the right side. Okay, so what will... Uh, what will happen? Negative 3 plus 3 is 0. So what will be left is this logarithm. Logarithm of x plus 6 to the base 11 equals on the right hand side we have 4 minus 3. Okay, this is 4 minus 3. And negative logarithm of x plus 6 to the base 11 plus itself of course is equal to 0. So cancel. So, you only have 4 minus 3. So, you just combine the constants on one side of the equation. Now, 4 minus 3, of course, is equal to 1. And for us to solve for x, uh, we have... Uh, okay, before we proceed, notice that we have successfully expressed the logarithms in terms of a single logarithm. And now that it is simplified, after using loss and properties of logarithm, we may translate this into another form. So this will be 11 to the first equals x plus 6. 11 to the first power, and this is uh, positive one, is uh, 11, or 11 to the first, equals x plus 6. Next, of course, 11 to the first is 11, and then by adding negative 6 to both sides, this is what you'll get. 11 minus 6 equals, this will be 0, so x. And 11 minus 6, of course, is 5. My reflexive property, that is x equals 5. The value of x is 5. Solving logarithmic equations is very easy if you know the properties and laws of logarithms. Until next time.